Hello, hello, Guardians. I am Ransom Rider, cooking my way through the Destiny cookbook. Now, I'm not playing Destiny at the moment, Destiny 2, but I am, I am playing with the Destiny cookbook. Uh, this is the Destiny official cookbook, and this is by Victoria Rosenthal. Today, Guardians, I've got something special in store for you. Gentlemen's Shortbread. Now, I want to take just a moment to tell you that difficulty is medium. Medium difficulty. Prep time is 45 minutes, but I will, I will cut that down through a fantastic team, the miracle of science. We can cut it down. Uh, cook time is 20 minutes. We'll reduce it. Yield is 10 scones. The dietary notes, uh, this is vegetarian, not vegan, vegetarian. All right, gentlemen's shortbread out of the Destiny cookbook, the official Destiny cookbook. I'm going to read you the opening. I'll never forget the kindness Devram showed me after the Red War. Now, this is Devram K in the EDZ. You know, we all know him. We've been there. We've seen him. He's a sniper. Checking in at the farm from time to time and sitting down with me for a cup of tea. These days, I occasionally send him my favorite shortbread as a thank you for his thoughtfulness, knowing it will pair wonderfully with his tea. Now, just mentioning the tea there, I will be making tea for Debram. You'll have to join me for that. Okay, what we're going to need, I'm going to give you the ingredient list, because you might want to make these at home, right? Destiny party, the holidays are coming up. Uh, you might have a lot of friends over scones. You will need scones. Three cups of all-purpose flour. I have it here. One teaspoon ground cardamom. One teaspoon salt. One fourth cup sugar. One and one half tablespoon baking powder. One half cup European style butter, cubed and cold. I have it here. Now the European style butter usually has a slightly higher fat content. Little known fact, little known fact. Okay, we have it. One half teaspoon vanilla extract, one cup milk, yes. Two teaspoons of water, and I have that here with my egg, and we're gonna whisk that later to spread on top of the scones prior to breaking in a 425 degree oven. Now, let's get into it. Preheat oven to 425. It's back there, it's warming up. Combine the flour, the cardamom, the salt, the sugar, and the baking powder in a large bowl. And man, oh man, I am ready. This is a large bowl. So in goes the cardamom. This is cardamom. And I, I'm going to confess, I, I don't really use cardamom a lot, but we're going to find out how it works in these. In goes the cardamom. And that was one teaspoon of cardamom. Now, the salt, the sugar, and the baking powder. Salt, sugar, voila. Sugar, and then this is baking powder. I'm popping it in. Well, I'm dumping it in, it's being dumped. All right, there you go. The dry ingredients uh, mainly are in, yep. Now add the cubed butter and combine with your hands until the mixture resembles coarse cornmeal. Now, what if I'd never played with coarse cornmeal? How would I know? How would you know, Guardians? Uh, we're gonna eyeball it. We're gonna have a little fun with it and hopefully it's gonna come out just like coarse cornmeal. So I guess they do make the assumption, they jump that they assume that you know what cornmeal is, coarse cornmeal. So add the butter into my large bowl. Here's my cubed butter. Let's dump it in. It's cold. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator moments ago. Let's set that to the side. I'll clean my mess up later. Now, Mix with your hands. I've thoroughly washed my hands. Don't come at me for using my hands. It's what you have to do when you're a baker. 
I'm a baker today. I'm a guardian baker. Let's mix it. Okay, I'm mixing. Now, these little cubes, uh, you know, I think the Vex would like these. They're very, the Vex love cubes, and I think the Vex would really get a kick out of all these little cubes, right? We're cubed up. Uh, I'm going to make at some point, I'm going to make some pyramid shaped chocolates and I'm excited that'll be a future video, future video, because Guardians, we know the witness, vile, despicable, those evil fingers are slicing and dicing their way through the Traveler. Uh, we've seen some of the images, we've seen past trailers, we know what his fingers are capable of and I want to say, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, now I'm keeping, I'm mixing. I'm gonna mix on this, cause this is gonna take a minute, actually uh, several minutes, and I'll be right back, Guardians. I'm gonna turn this into a consistency of coarse cornmeal. I'll be right back. But yeah, the, the, the traveler and his, you know, he's he's crying out in pain. Uh, it is quite tragic. I'm I'm disturbed, perturbed. I'm angered and I'm out to go in there, Guardians. I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna, we're gonna wreak some havoc, wreck some havoc. We're gonna make things happen. The witness ain't gonna like it, but you and I, we're gonna have fun doing it. We are gonna have fun doing it. Coarse cornmeal. Now, I, please appear like coarse cornmeal. I wanna make some fajitas. But I know this recipe, cardamom, I'm not even sure, you know, what I should have tasted of it. I should have taken a little bitty tip of it uh, on my finger and put it on my tongue and just tasted of it. Because ultimately, I, I don't know what cardamom even tastes like. These gentlemen shortbreads, we deliver these during the festivities around the holidays. These get delivered. And... What do they taste like? We're going to find out at the end of this video. And I'm going to make tea. I am going to make tea for Devram. He's been around. We met him right at the beginning of the Red War. I like him. You probably like him. Uh, he needs a treat. And we're fa we are fixing these fresh. But leave a comment. What are your thoughts about what's going on in Destiny? You know, we're going to have some changes to the economy inside of Destiny. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with it. I am a hoarder, Guardians. I, I will let you know in advance of playing with me. I hoard legendary shards. I've got a lot of them. Not as many as some, but more than others. And I start getting nervous when I get low, when I drop below 50,000 of them. Uh, I get nervous. I get nervous. I want lots and lots of resources, lots of legendary engrams. Now, is this mixed? I think it is. Does it look like coarse cornmeal? Maybe, maybe. So now, add the vanilla extract and the milk until the dough becomes workable. We have to work this dough. You better work. All right, so this is my milk, right? Add the milk and the vanilla. Should I add just a little at a time? I feel like my hands are gonna become a mess, right? They will become a mess. And you know, it's okay because a little bit of soap and water, uh, it will do wonders to clean up. <laughs> It'll do wonders to clean up my hands. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. All right, in goes the vanilla flavoring. And I'm a big fan of this. If you've watched my other cookie, uh, my other cookie recipes that I've made, uh, you'll know that vanilla flavoring, yeah. Uh, give, me, give me vanilla flavoring, I love it. Now, okay, add the vanilla <laughs> extract and milk and stir until the dough becomes workable Oh, stir. I should have used a spoon. Transfer to a floured countertop and knead until the dough just comes together. Okay, I mean, it's definitely coming together and it's come together all over me. 
uh, I got to get it off. I got to clean up, clean up in kitchen number three. Uh, this is a mess, and I knew it was going to be. Don't, don't be concerned about getting a little bit messy. Uh, there's going to be plenty of these shortbreads to go around. Uh, I always have plenty of this stuff left over. We never really consume it all. I try to give it away to friends. Uh, they look at me like uh, chocolate ship, gallardoodles, never heard of them. I'm going to be right back. I am going to wash my hands because I need to flower my work surface. I'll be right back, guardians. I promise at the end of this, it will be gentlemen's shortbread for Devram K., uh, our loyal, faithful, almost guardian. He's not quite a guardian, but I, I feel like he is. He's a non-playable character inside of Destiny in the EDZ. I'll be right back. Guardians, my hands, I've, I've washed them. Soap and water, miracle. It works miracles. I have some flour. This is just plain all-purpose flour. I'm going to flour my work surface. I have put down a seal pat. Now, I don't need gobs of flour, but, you know, we need some flour because I know from having my hands in it, uh, it's a sticky mess. It is a sticky mess. <laughs> I've had my hands in it. Okay, now take this, transfer to a floured countertop, and knead until the dough comes together. Uh, I feel like we need to cue the song at this point. Come together. All right, so this is kind of still a mess, right? This is a mess, but we're gonna hope, we're gonna hope that it comes together. I'm gonna set that to the side. I like my work surface, kept clean. Okay, now, uh, flour, I need some flour. I'm gonna do a little trick here that a friend of mine taught me. Let's take this and do this so that I don't have to uh, have my hands in there so much, right? Now, because this, guardians, here's the secret. Okay, I'm going to give you a secret. Don't overwork this dough, or these will become tough and chewy. As we say back home, wit leather. These will turn into wit leather. And you and I, we don't want wit leather with our tea, right? We don't want that. Now, the dough has come together. Let's give it another smush. I'm applying pressure. The dough has been pressured. Form. Form. You've got you to gotta say the magic words, and today it's form. Okay, now, make sure to not overwork the dough. Good advice. I just, I myself believe in that. Don't overwork it. Gently pat the dough into a one inch tall disc and cut into 10 three inch round scones. These are going to now start forming scones. So I need to pat it into a one inch size thickness. Uh, you know, one inch. I'm sure it's going to turn into something, you know, it's going to grow. These one inchers will puff up and they'll be substantial because we want to have them with tea. Place on the baking sheet. Okay, that's, uh -uh, that's, I'll need to go back to number two. Pat it out into one inch. I feel like that's kind of one inch right there. Is that one inch? Maybe I made it too thin even. Maybe we're going to have some thin scones. Now, should I have squared this up? You know, I'm going by this round here, but it's really, you know, for a pie shell. Uh, I'm going to square it up just a tad. That'll get me back up to maybe the one inch. Okay, got it there. Now I'm going to use this cutter uh, that I've never used before. <laughs> confession. And I'm going to cut these into 10, the 10, three inch round. Okay. I just made squares. Uh, well, okay. But I'll roll them out. I'll roll them out. And I'm okay with them guardians not being perfectly, you know, the right size, right? I, I don't mind them if they're not just the perfectly done 
correct size. Uh, because as you know, if you follow my videos or hang out with me as I'm working my way through the Destiny cookbook, uh, I'm okay with a little misfit every now and then. Uh, it's just something that really doesn't bother me. Now, I'm going to roll this. Place on, a, place on a baking sheet with parchment paper. Baking sheet with parchment paper. Here it is. Here it is. Let's place it. And let's pull another one. Roll it. Roll it in your hand until it forms a little ball. That's what I'm doing. I, you know, it really doesn't say that in the instructions, but I feel like, uh, I feel like this is a good idea to kind of roll it into a ball. See that? I'm rolling it. Now, how many of these did I get? I don't know. We're going to find out. We'll count them when I get in the pan. But yeah, Guardians, what are you thinking about the season? What are you thinking about the economy changes? Now, here's a big one. Uh, this is going to be a big old scone. But I like a big scone, I think. I don't know that I've really ate a lot of scones in my day, but I think I would like the big size. Uh, you know, I'm petite, uh-uh. I'm not a petite. I'm growing. I am a grower. All right, now let's get this in here, pat it into a ball, place it in the cookie sheet, uh, I don't know how these are going to rise, so I'm, I'm curious to see, will they all squish together? And if they do, uh, we're okay with that. They still should taste the same, right? They should taste the same. All right, I'm going to roll the rest of these, and then I'm going to come right back. I'm going to pop them in the oven. Remember, they go into the oven at 425 degrees for... 13 to 18 minutes, depending on how hot your oven, you know, ovens vary. So check them before you uh, leave them in too long. You don't want them to get burnt. Uh, you know, I like a good crust, but don't let them burn. I'm popping them in and guardians, by the end of this, we're gonna have scones. We're gonna, we're gonna take scones to Devram K. I'm gonna also make some tea, uh, you know, very soon. Come back with me, hang out, I need friends. I am Ransom Rider. This is the Destiny Cookbook, the official Destiny Cookbook. Thank you, Guardians. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. We're gonna let them cook, and I'm gonna come back to you and show you the finished scones. Thank you for hanging out with me. All right, Guardians, I have rolled them out. Now, I'm gonna give them a little pat. I do think I'm gonna just pat them out a tad. This is what my grandmother would have done. She'd have given it a little tap. You know, a little tap, tap it down a tad. Get that classic biscuit shape going. I'm just patting them. This maybe is the one inch. They're padded. And then I'm gonna whip my egg. Whip it, whip it good. Uh, this is gonna be an egg glaze. Just so that they brown beautifully. Now, normally I would have put that egg in here and it would have cracked and exploded and been everywhere just when I dropped it in. Now, I can't get it to break the yolk into the white because we're gonna do an egg wash. This has got two teaspoons of water to one egg and I have my egg brush. This is also a butter brush. Uh, let's brush these. We want them golden brown. Uh, I'm following the instructions. I want to follow the instructions so that if something goes wrong, I'll be able to say, it wasn't me. You know, I, I'm not down. I'm not, it wasn't me. <laughs> Somebody else on the team failed, not me. Uh, we've all been there, right, Guardians? We've all tripped. We've all stumbled. We've all fallen inside the game of destiny. It's all right. You can get up. You can come back. Well, unless you're in a Grand Master, and then you better hope you've got a token to revive. Uh, but if not, you just start it over. If you're out of tokens, start it over. Go back in there, because the Grand Masters, they're challenging. Uh, they're specifically challenging, uh, but fun. And I know there's some cheeses out there. Uh, there's some ways to get around some of the difficulty. And Guardians... My question to you is, 
What do you think about the cheeses? Do you use the cheeses when you learn about the cheese? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Good, bad, indifferent? I use them every time I get a chance. Anything to make my objectives more obtainable? Cheese. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. These are going into the oven for up to 18 minutes. I'm going to keep a watch on them and then I'll be right back with you for a taste test. I'm Ransom Ryder. This is the official Destiny 2 cookbook, Gentlemen's Shortbread uh, Scones. I'll be back. Guardians, we are back. The scones, the shortbread, interchangeable shortbread scones. Uh, they are out of the oven. I have put them on a cooling rack. Uh, I've let them cool for a few minutes. They look absolutely phenomenal. They're not all perfectly shaped, right? They're not all perfectly shaped, but I'm okay with that because they look artisanal. You can tell that I made these in the kitchen myself <laughs> and I'm rusty. It's been a while since I'd made anything like this. I was a little bit rusty. Now I have some French blueberries and I have some cream cheese. I know the book recommends that we serve these with clotted cream and jam. Clotted cream is a little bit of a process, uh, but cream cheese, yes. I think Americans would love the cream cheese on it. Now, I made some wonderful strawberry and hibiscus tea in a different video for Devram K, right? I made it for Devram K. This is strawberry and hibiscus. I know he's an Earl Grey kind of man, but we're celebrating, we're celebrating nearing the end, light fall, you know, season of the witch right now when I'm making this video, and then things are gonna, things are gonna get rough as we move forward. So we're celebrating with strawberry and hibiscus, some gentleman's shortbread with some French blueberry jam and cream cheese. Let me have a sip and give it a taste. Ah. Uh, the tea is phenomenal. Now this is, I cut a small one, put some jam and cream cheese on it. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. Guardians. Mmm. Will I have enough to make it through tomorrow? I don't know. That's how good they are. That's how good they are. These are wonderful. Now, let me just get a little more tea. Mmm, oh, clean my palate a little bit and taste it plain. This is a plain gentleman's shortbread or scone. Delicate, flaky, hints of vanilla and cardamom. These are delightful. Join me, guardians. Join me as I work my way through Destiny 2 pushing back the darkness. Inside each and every one of you, you have light. And together, we can grow that light. We can do the deeds that need to get done so that we can have humanity at peace again. I'm Ransom Ryder. This is my favorite game, Destiny 2, and I'm working in the Destiny 2 cookbook. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for being my friend. And I look forward to seeing you in the gaming world very soon. And as I continue to work my way through the Destiny cookbook, join me. Join me. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Guardians. Thank you.